What's up guys, Parker Talks is back. Today I'm going to be ranking for the first time an animated uh, series of movies based on a certain company. This is dealing with the Illumination uh, franchise of movies. You know, there's Disney, there's Pixar. I'm going to go first in the Illumination just because it's a smaller one so I can get started with these animated movies. And let's do the top five movies that I love in the, the Illumination series. Now that being said, some of these movies I don't remember that much, but I'm going to try my best, so let's get started with number five. So coming in at number five is The Lorax, which I have not seen in a very long time, so it's hard for me to remember this movie that much, but you know, it's, it's a good story that uh, tells a lesson basically on protecting nature and the environment, as Danny DeVito is The Lorax, and he's this guy that you know, this mystical creature that wants to save trees, save nature. So I think it brings such a great, um, you know, lesson to kids watching this movie. Um, but definitely, I don't really remember much from this movie, so that's why it's only in at number five. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a nice lesson. Like I said, nothing too big in this movie, so that's why it's in at number five. Alright, coming in at number four, we have a Christmas movie, The Grinch, which honestly, I don't like the character uh, The Grinch that much, but I do say it is one of my favorite Christmas films. I know that's a little confusing and uh, self-intuitive, but um, doesn't really make any sense. But I mean, I do I do like the, the story of it. I guess it's just the character itself I'm not a big fan of. Um, but I mean, you have this guy, The Grinch, and his little dog that goes on this adventure to basically ruin Christmas and they go into the uh, Whoville, I believe, and, you know, he just tries to ruin people's Christmas by taking presents and all that. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, and there's also, you know, a, a live-action film with that. I, would, I, I guess I would prefer this animated one as well. You have some uh, good musical uh, songs in there as well. So it's a pretty solid film, and that's why it's in at number four. Coming in at number three, we had Despicable Me 2. After the success of the first movie, this sequel is a very good movie as well, as you have Gru being the supervillain, now he becomes a spy, which I feel like is a good um, turnaround, and it basically blends in very well. Uh, you have a new character named Lucy, and Gru and Lucy would have to work together in this film. There's a plot with the Minions that goes wrong, and it's really funny, actually, uh, compared to, like, the Minions movie, which can be annoying. This part is a little funny. And and also the, the girls in the film also have a big role in this film as well. It's very high action, um, high stakes in this movie, and also very funny. So it's a very good film. That's why it's in at number three. And number two, we have The Secret Life of Pets, which is pretty similar to a Toy Story where, you know, toys come alive as the people leave. Now, this is basically the animals talking as the people leave, and they go on this adventure as well. I also really enjoy this because actually, like, the two main dogs, which is more like a Jack Russell and, like, a big Labrador, looks very similar to the dogs, the two dogs I have, a Beagle and a Golden Retriever. Uh, so that's pretty funny, and they kind of, like, act how I think they would act if they could talk. So I did enjoy enjoy watching this movie a lot and I did like the you know the plot of animals going on this adventure while people are out uh, doing whatever they're doing doing work or all that and then you also have like the antagonist is this bunny played by Kevin Hart who has this animal cult it's that's a that's a great part of that film and Kevin Hart is very funny in this role as well. It's in New York. You have a lot of stuff going on. You meet so many different animals um, and different pets. Um, I mean, this is a movie that was bound to happen, uh, definitely, and I, I really enjoyed it, so that's why it's in at number two. But coming in at number one for me and for many is the original Despicable Me movie where this evil Russian uh, guy basically named Gru um, has to do all, wants to do all these evil tasks and he has his minions and this is something we've never seen before with just like his henchmen as just some like goofy creatures and all that which brings a really funny side to the movie. Um, he's trying to do, he has this goal to do all these evil tasks and then, uh, out of, out of nowhere, these, he has to take care of these orphan girls, which bring, a uh, incredible part to this movie, uh, as they don't really understand why he's doing all this evil stuff. They get in the way of his work. And then you also have like a great villain as well, who's just so many flaws with him. He's really goofy Vector. Um, yeah. And so with the, with the original plot of, Gru wanting to steal the moon, 
goes all of a sudden on basically a roller coaster ride as he has to take care of these girls and it just goes from there. It's a it's a great movie, really funny, um, really wacky, all this stuff. So many people have this at number one for the Illumination franchise and it's in my number one as well. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I, I plan to do more uh, animated uh, series of different franchises in the future. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.